my YouTube platform? I don't, I don't know nothing about YouTube. Okay. Okay. It's, it's a, a social media platform. Yeah, I'll put I know, you on my I know. social media okay. platform. Okay. What okay. are you doing here now? You're well, promoting I, this man? I, yes, I am. Uh, Matt Stowe, he's been our district attorney for the last eight years. He's okay. done an excellent job. So he works actually in the Capitol uh, uh, up in Nashville. Well, he works some in Nashville, but his district is Benton, Carroll, Henry, Hardin, and Decatur County. Okay. And he has a contender who is a very nice, seemingly very nice man. Sure. But... He's not been strong like Matt. Matt's a strong Christian man. A In strong other words, he's seasoned. Exactly. He's seasoned. Exactly. And he has he has experience. And he That's is, what I'm saying. Yes. He's seasoned. He is, uh, he is 50 years old. He's a Harvard graduate. He's a bona fide genius. But he's willing to, his family. Is he originally his, from this area? He, he, uh, or his, he moved, is no, he an implant? No. All of his family. All of his roots are in Benton County. Okay. And uh, so up towards Camden. Yes, down at Eva, uh, actually. I got you. Yes, and uh, and in Camden, he's all of his relatives and everybody. Sure. He was out in Texas, and he saw how the drugs and all this was taking over this part of the country. Math, math has, has inundated our country and ruined the country. Absolutely. And not only that, now we've got the fentanyl and all that coming and yeah. the border open. Right. And Matt saw what was happening to his kin people and he, he took his credentials. He could be at a higher place, he, but he took his credentials and came to deposit them here and he's done a great job for the last eight good, years. Good, good But he him. has encountered some difficulties, as you will when you fight, you know. Well, not only that, but anytime you step out on the limb and you exactly. become any type of publicly known person. Exactly. I don't if care. You do anything. I, I don't yeah, if you do anything at all, right. it don't matter if you're just running a, a commercial for right. selling bed rent mattresses, you take that chance on right. on some idiot recognizing right. you and the next thing you know you got to deal with them right. in a in appropriate way. Anybody that 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 sticks their neck out, I uh <laughs> I admire them because there is there is some uh some Actually, it could be dangerous. That's Literally, right, especially in, in today's society. It sure can. But I'm from Weekly County, and uh, fight I don't... it there. Fight it. We've got to ever what I've said that you know I'm grandmother age now. Right. But me and everybody else has got to launch forward to do a little more than we've ever done well, before. Well, is this war situation going to get out of hand? Well. Or do you think it may be already out of hand? Well, you know what? What is trying to shake loose is a new world order only that it is a new world disorder well it's not order it is disorder well to it, me to me i don't think we need a new world order i need, i think we need to conform the order that we already have yeah. because because i mean we have something that'll work if we make if we work that's it. right that's right and i and i heard uh somebody down in miami florida that was uh that was promoting the ideal towards some sort of a digital uh it wasn't euro money it was something else bitcoin or something like that something this, like that yes. they was really really promoting it big time and i think that's going to be the problem that we're going to run into is who's actually going to be in control of that type of world global currency and i think that it's going to cause problems across across the uh world globe. across the globe yes the thing is this is my opinion and i see evidence everywhere i'm a believer in the word of god i Everybody am too. Is not. lord jesus christ right hallelujah sister and, and so the, it, he's the one who puts the sun up and brings it down that's he don't right. get confused that's right he don't get confused that's right but people do get confused mm -hmm. and people have the notion that they're going to obliterate his word it just won't happen. No. Heaven and earth will pass away. My word will not pass That's away. That's right. So what we need to do is have a great revival. People need, we need to a have movement. a hungry we need a hunger. Yes, we... where people want to know what, instead of running, Amen. they're running to and want to know what the word of God That's says. That's right. That's it's, right. It's our salvation. It's our strength. Well, it's you, our blessing. I think you, you've already done witness the fact that within the past 20 years, our country has not only been inundated with drugs, but it's also been inundated with paranormal behavior exactly. that comes from witchcraft and warlocks exactly. and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, pertaining to the devil's people. Demonic. Um, Demonic. Less than a quarter of a mile from my house, from where I was raised up at, they got a big castle down there called the Wiccans. And 
I, I, I just don't get into holding hands and humming no. and praying to peacocks no. and praying to freaking crystals and, no. and, and, and giving reverence to the, to the, uh, to the, to the create, to the, uh, the creation, Preacher. Preacher. to the creation, but you don't give no reverence to the creator. Right. Right. I mean, the creator is our heavenly father right. and, and you can call him Yahshua. You can right. call him the great Jehovah. You can call him whatever. Right. And he did have a son right. that was called to, uh, being the only begotten son because we serve not a God of the dead, but a God of the living. Right. And he did rise on the third day. Right. And I can testify to that right. because if, if, if the Lord Jesus Christ wasn't on my side, little sister, I wouldn't be gone. here. I wouldn't be here. Already gone. I wouldn't be here. And it's the source of life. And it's the source of everybody's lives. We need to just pray that the world will hunger and thirst after righteousness. Absolutely. And want to live. Because he's made a way for us to live. Yes, he has. This individual that you're talking about, is is he motivated? in the Very sp- motivated. In, in the very Father, motivated. the Son, and the Holy yes, Spirit? Yes, he's a very motivated Christian man. He is. He has a genius intellect. Really? He, he is, yes, he is a graduate of Harvard. He was one of, I think he said three in his class that was a Republican. He knows how to stand and defend the Word of God and righteousness. Okay. He knows how to defend it on the streets. He knows how to defend it in the courtroom. I got but you. But the problem is that is everybody will not hear because we have things that it, the, the Scripture tells us when light has come, men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. That's We've right. got people who have the evil deeds. That's right. And and they, and they don't know the Lord Jesus. They don't they don't believe in him. I, we need to pray that there will be I know it revival. sounds selfish. I know it sounds selfish. But if he was to come right now, glory hallelujah, wouldn't that be yeah. wouldn't that be the time to, he to, knows when to, to come to, to take a flight up into heaven yeah. and get away from all yeah. this hell of yeah. down I, here? I told Matt. I mean it, it's crazy down here. I told Matt, I said I, Matt, it's sad I down am here. surprised that you even will run again. For any amount of money, the trouble that you have had the last eight years has it been that bad for him? It's been bad. When you come against demonic, sure, you're gonna you're gonna sure. In come other words, in other words, he's had to basically root his way through uh, yeah. through the council and through the yeah. judge uh, through the yes. through the whole thing of, be, because they was locked into their way of thinking and and their their just trouble in the world. Well, well, not only that, but you got old old thinking, old money, old old school stuff. And he's coming in there with, with the right technology and stuff. He's probably a wizard when it comes to the computer and stuff. Well, he, he and, and a lot of these people up here, they can't even, they don't even know how to get on eBay. I, now, I'm not a big computer person myself, but and I have an autistic son, and I and I know I'm to take care of him, and I'm to and I'm to uh, defend anything that might harm him. That's and right. That, and that and that takes all my time. That's well, what, I'm what doing we got to do day. is utilize. Defend, defend we got to utilize, and we got to find this person over here that's good at this. Find that person over here that's good at that, together. and hook them all up together, and and become a team. Absolutely, that's what we need. That's what we. That's need. what we need. What church do you go to out here? Well, I actually I go to the Cumberland Presbyterian, but I'm not. I wasn't raised Cumberland Presbyterian, but I but I am basic Christian. And I find that you're really that, a non-denominational. Yes. You don't really put your right. put no no fancy on any no, type of denomination. No, I mean, you're just a a, a, you either, a servant of the Lord. Right. And, and what you're doing right now right. is servanthood right. towards getting out here right. promoting this individual. Some churches don't Because you'd probably be willing to just about put your life down for that guy yeah, right there, and wouldn't you? you? And you uh, because you know that he would do the his, same. He's putting his life down for this. Because you know that he would do the same. Yes, he is doing that. Right. And I know that I have somebody very important to defend. It's my little uh, autistic son. He's That's right. He's little. He's 55. That's right. And I know it's very important that these elder people and these little Amen. children have a strong advocate Amen. for their cause. Amen. I appreciate you talking yeah. to me. Yeah. God bless. Could I have one of the little sure, things? I mean, I, I realize I ain't from here. That's okay. That's I'm from okay. Weekly County. Okay, promote it. But, but I'm going to look him up if that'll yeah. be okay. Promote it everywhere you say. I, I bet he's got a uh, a big following, doesn't yeah, he? Well, yes. And he, like I said, uh, a he's, big support team. Yes, he, ha- he has people to support him. Uh, he's having to work, so he's not getting to put up as many signs and things as his contender because he's working hard. Okay. But. Uh, uh, well, this is being recorded, and I'll put it on my YouTube yes, channel. Absolutely. And who's to say that it may turn turn some heads and get some people's attention towards absolutely. towards who this individual is? But the main is. thing is, this individual and every individual that is fighting for the right. 
find out who is fighting for the right and who is pretended to be fighting. Right. If whether it's at church or wherever it is, yes. there are those who pretend to fight for the right. That and when they, it comes down and to not it, only they do they do pretend that. to fight for the right, but they pretend that they care. Right. They pretend that they care, and you and know they what? don't always. And, sometimes and, they and do. And you know, you sometimes know what they, they do? Don't. They get they get in the system. And then they start using the system for Someone their advantage does. instead of working for people like Some, me and you. Something. And that's what has corrupted, as Donald Trump said, that is what has basically rigged the system yep. is because there was too many people uh, putting their hands into the cookie yeah, jar. Right. That's, that's the reason why we're $30 trillion in debt. Yeah. You know, our dollar is just at the brink of falling, don't you? There's it's been co- two banks yeah. that, that has made mention just within oh, this yeah. week oh, that, yeah. that we're heading for a yeah. major... Yeah, um, economic calamity. Uh, economical <laughs> calamity. Structure. So, I mean, but we're also admonished in the scripture to not put our put our trust in money, material things. That's right. The one that created everything that creates material things are the one that we're to deposit our full faith and trust in. He will, like you said, there'll be that linking together. We will make it. Well, you know, whenever when we, when you we know, do right. that's right. You know, whenever the Great Depression hit, nineteen twenty-nine, mm-hmm. they claim I don't know how true it is, but they claim that there was literal people that was jumping out of windows yeah, and was it. taking their own lives I've heard it because, because they, they was solely so uh, uh, dependent upon the Almighty yeah. Dollar. Yeah. Yeah. That once the dollar fell, right. they failed. That's some people's riches, and that's really that's really. But sad. that's not true riches. That's not the. I mean, no. I, believe me, it's like it's like we hear Jimmy Stewart say, and it's a wonderful life. When the angel said, "We don't deal in money where he comes from," he said, it "Sure works good down here," and I will agree with that. Money is better to have it than to not have it, but it's certainly not the be all and end all. Because when all money is gone, if we if we don't love one another and care for, and care for people and take care without of them, love, it says all this other stuff ain't it's all worthless. It, it won't, it'll just all go down the drain, and in fact, it'll make a life worse instead of better. That's right. God bless you. So, what's your God name? Bless you. Corinne Arnold. What's your name? My name is uh, Dennis James Juby Jackson. Dennis James. Juby Jackson. Okay, Dennis James. I'm going to try. De- I'm not good on names. Dennis James Jackson. I'm going to go with that. That'll be fine. Okay. Nice that, to that, meet the you. Juby part, that, that's actually my incorporated uh, uh, spiritual nickname. Really? Yeah, my brother gave it to me before he got killed in 1976. Hey. And I actually heard his voice about six months after his death. I was about 14 years old. Mm-hmm. And I heard my name. The only time that I've ever heard anything supernaturally audibly spoken to me was I heard my name, Juby, like that. Yeah, I was walking across well, the road. I was walking that. across the road, and I had I had the intentions of going to kill my dad. I was so mad. Yeah, I was well, so upset. Your brother had gotten killed. Uh, my brother got killed on a motorcycle wreck. Okay, but why was you going to kill your dad? Because he brought a lot of evil and a lot of hardship to our lives. He was oh. abusive very very abusive yeah, yeah. but i think i think the lord knew that i was intentionally had the wrong intentions yeah. and he basically created an angel or it may have been m- my very own brother so i don't know that spoke out to my name and he got my attention Jimmy uh, Jackson. I, i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you how serious that it was i was on my way going in one direction and whenever i heard the name because it was so so recent of his death i actually turned around and said what <laughs> and I thought it was him. And then once I got it out of my mouth, guess what? It uh, dawned on me. My God, way. he's dead. Yeah. He's been dead for about four or five, six months. Yeah. Well, so the, the Lord does have a way that he can get your attention. Now, if you was to say that to, if I was to say that to the wrong person, they'd probably want to put me in a mental institution. But I don't there, care. There's a spiritual world, far bigger and more powerful. Than Amen. Thank you for talking to, to me. And thank you for letting me document you. Uh-huh.